All right, so you want to take an image like this and put it on a t-shirt. But you need to separate it to CMYK to get it to look like this because it has halftone gradients and all kinds of different textures and whatnot. So you'll need some software and my open source version of software that I use is called GIMP. This is a special GIMP, however. It's, it's at partha.com, P-A-R-T-H-A.com. So you would download that in the download section. There's Mac and Windows. This is just GIMP with all the plugins installed. And one of the plugins is called Separate Plus. Okay, another thing you're going to need is Adobe CMYK color profiles. And you can get those right here. Adobe CMYK profile. So here's 12 profiles, and here's a three RGB values. But we have the RGBs already. So proceed and download, and download those somewhere to your hard drive. Once you have them, go to the downloads, right click on them, and extract them. You say open with raw or whatever, whatever unzipping method you have. Okay, so those are now a folder. Um, what I'm going to do here is go to File, and this is the GIMP that I downloaded, and I open the document, and I'm just going to go Properties, oh, my bad, Preferences under Edit. I'll expand this in the background so it doesn't look too confusing. Then you can go to color management. Under color management, CMYK profile, you can choose select color profile from disk. And you can browse to your desktop, get that in the folder. Here's CMYK profiles. And what I use is uh, uncoded web. Now you might find different ones that work differently for you, but that's the one I use. All right, let's hit OK. Now, under Image, you have Separate. And under Separate, you have Separate and Proof. Let's go to Separate. So here's the source color space. Well, in most cases, this comes in from the embedded profile of the, the image. So my personal preference is to download the image because that way the profile comes along with it. If you copy and paste it, however, sometimes it does not do that. Here's a way to tell. If you go to Image and you go to Image Properties, you can go to Color Profile and you'll find this. This tells me it's our sRGB IEC. Okay, so let's go back, separate. We got some information now. And sure enough, it, it does match. And down below, I can choose what CMYK one. Hit OK. You should see US Web either uncoded or coded right here. And if you don't see it, um, go back and put that in here and restart the program. Notice that the coded is in here but not the uncoded. I think that's my bad. I was using coded, not uncoded. All right, you ready for some magic? Hit OK. There we go. I have my CMYK values all laid out. Now, if I go to Layers, Window, Dockable, Layers, I can find my CMYK and I can save them out as different files or print them as different files. But what happens? How do you proof this? Well, you have it open and go to Image. Oops, let me close this one. So have this one open, go to Image, Separate, and Proof. And make sure these still match what you had normally, and hit OK. Bam. There we go. So it matches back and forth, forth and back. All you do is have to 
print these four times on four different screens. You're good to go. So that's how you separate RGB to CMYK using GIMP. Enjoy.